ladies and gentlemen, today's first television event is one fall at 10 minute time limit. Now in the ring at a combined total of 500 pounds, Arn Anderson and Jerry Stubbs with their manager, Mr. Billy Spears. Their opponents in the corner to my left at 210 pounds for America's Georgia, Ted Allen. His partner, 237, Montreal, Canada, Jacques Rougeau. Been taking on Jacques Rougeau out of Canada and Ted Allen from the state of Georgia. And uh, this could be a good matchup. And, sir, would you uh, care to elaborate more on your comments to uh, what you know Mr. Stubbs and Anderson? Well, like I said, I've been in the ring before with Stubbs on several occasions. He's a great competitor and a great athlete. Anderson, I've never never competed against, but these guys are a tremendous team. I've had the opportunity to watch them several times. They can go at it any way anybody wants to bring it to them. They can rough it up. They can wrestle. They both have fine amateur backgrounds. Like I said, a great team. And I've been around the country for the last four years on a regular basis, and they're one of the greatest teams I've ever had the pleasure of watching. Oh, with Anderson and Stubbs now. Stubbs in against Ted Allen, eh? Allen ducks the right hand. Another wild elbow from Jerry Stubbs. Here's a young man from the heart of Georgia that's come quite a long way in the past couple of years. Rick, Billy Spears has been back in the southeast for about oh, two to three weeks now. Of course, he's got an international reputation, the wealth of his family behind him. He seems, though, in the last couple of weeks, to have really brought new life to the team of Anderson and Stubbs, as well as a man that you're very familiar with, Boris Zirkov. Well, Boris Zirkov, from Russia, 280 pounds, six foot three. Possesses unbelievable strength, stamina, a tremendously well-conditioned athlete, and another one of the great competitors wrestling in the Southeast right now. In the ring right now, it's Ted Allen with the side headlock on Hard Anderson. Here's Seth Bottomley to bring in top talent, and they've got it. I've wrestled here several times over the years, and very rarely do you see the talent of caliber is right now. They've got a great, great array of stars here. And of course, fans all over the Southeast can look forward to an influx of world-class wrestlers over the summer of the International Sports Plant, a host of major events for the summer opportunity. In the ring right now, Ted Allen doing surprisingly well against the team of Anderson and Stubbs. Well, let's just put it like this. Anderson and Stubbs are the type of team. Sometimes they're slow, sometimes they're fast. Obviously, they're taking the time to figure out their opponent. Before this match is over, just Anderson and Stubbs screwing these two guys up real good. You know, I don't want to get anything away from Jacques Rousseau. Rousseau's a tremendous competitor in his own right. The Montreal Canada, as everybody knows, tremendous record behind him. So it just goes back to what I said earlier in the program. The people here are having the opportunity to see some of the top wrestlers anywhere in the world. Well, speaking of Mr. Rougeau, just very quickly, you know, I had the opportunity to be a part of a presentation in Pensacola, Florida, to a young lady by the name of Patricia Polk. She won a beautiful $1,000 rose that Dr. Rougeau's won many times on TV. Congratulations to Patricia. The tag to Rougeau, and uh, some man wastes no time going right to work on the left knee of Arn Anderson. Anderson, perhaps underestimating this team just a little bit, Charlie. Uh, maybe so, right now, Rousseau. The last move on the corner of Rousseau. You saw Anderson trying to take him into his corner. He dumped Anderson, and now he's got a fresh start here with Joe Stubb. You know, she's said so many times before that um, in a contest between a brawler and a... Wait right a minute. Anderson! Uh, a bit of confusion between the team of Anderson and Stubb. Anderson dropping the elbow on Stubb for Brugeau. Immediate advantage of this opportunity. Ooh. Rougeau getting a little overconfident, possibly. He has things going his way, uh, Mr. Player. Fans are having an opportunity to see a main event match right now. And you've got guys that challenger Rougeau, Thompson Anderson, where you're going to see main event competition. They're getting a look at it right now. Rougeau made a couple of tremendous offensive maneuvers there, but boy, he missed. And he's in trouble now, and I wouldn't want to be able to receive an interview for guys. Uh, Anderson and Stubbs now starting the offensive on Jacques Rougeau. I've noticed in a lot of your matches, Rick, when the action becomes rather wild, you do revert many times to a uh, more fun. Oh. Anderson showing a tremendous ring generalship. 
you are very often will refer to the basics of wrestling in the middle of the match, and it always seems, or at least I've always heard, that in a contest between a wrestler and a brawler, nine times out of ten, it's uh, the pure wrestler who will emerge on top. Well, there's no doubt about that. The name of the sport is wrestling. It's on every marquee throughout the world. If you can wrestle and you're well conditioned and you've got some brains, you can go a long ways in a great sport of professional wrestling. Of course, we all, do, we all dig back into our amateur background at some point, but this right here, these people are seeing now is a long ways for amateur wrestling because we're allowed to use submission holds. was made, referee Larry Brock was chastising Mr. Spears and uh, apparently didn't see the tag now. Anderson and Stubbs continuing to punish and Lugo. Anderson and Stubbs are a top team where they know where they are all the time. They know where both, they know where they're coming from. They don't miss for any time. The tag is now made with Jerry Stubbs. He said to Rougeau. Rougeau firing back with a minute back to the second step on the side of the face. And uh, the tag is made with Ted Allen. Long needed tag that Ted Allen has made. Allen in, Allen in begins to explode on the team of Anderson and Stubb. Ted Allen with Art Anderson over in that turnbuckle, but now it's a uh, two on one situation. Well, like I said earlier, I wouldn't want to be in the receiving end of these two guys. Look at this maneuver right here. Good. That's one of the most devastating moves I've ever seen. That's the first time I've ever seen him do that. You can tell a lot of teamwork and a lot of thought went into that. Uh, the word teamwork is uh, the trademark of Anderson and Studs now. After the guillotine from the second row, I think the pinfall became just a mere formality. Gentlemen, a pleasure to speak with you. I'll be out later on in the program. Nice seeing you both. All right, the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Rick Flair, joining us uh, for that uh, commentary. And uh, as he said, he will be back with us a little bit later on. Coming out to join us right now, three young gentlemen who have set the Southeastern Wrestling Area on fire. Well, they are, of course, the Southeastern Tag Team Champion for Rat Patrol Incorporated, the Taunted Kids, Scott Armstrong and Johnny Ritz. And gentlemen, congratulations on your continued reign as Tag Team Champion. Well, thank you, Rick. Appreciate that. You know, it's, it's been tough. Uh, it's a lot harder to hold on to these things than it is to get them. See, there, it's trying to get away right now. You never can tell. Yeah. But uh, we've been having some tough matches. We've been fighting these guys. Uh, it's been going a lot of uh, disqualifications and stuff, but uh, we've remained to hold on to these belts so far. Uh, Billy Spears' money hadn't been able to buy them these belts back yet. And uh, I think we all have a film clip today or something. We're going to That's right, Johnny. Let's go to the arena right now and take a look at uh, you were speaking of uh, some very rough matches with the team of Anderson and Stubbs. And I believe you have that for you right now. We've got uh, Ellis, Scott and uh, Conker here having a tag. Scott just over and made that tag. Made that tag yeah. We're really having a field day on me. And I'm really lucky to get over there to Conker. And well, when I did, he came out. He's That's right. right here. Tom's he's doing, doing, doing his left. thing. He's the nail. Super athlete. Well, Scott, I've noticed in the last couple of your matches that savat-like kick that you've been using. Uh, you've knocked a couple of people out with it. It really seems to be a, a major weapon in your arsenal. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you saying that, Rick. You know, it's something that I've worked on for a long time. I've been into karate for a while, and uh, it's just something that I, when I had my time off, I just got mad. You see Billy Spears there trying to inter interfere here. That's well, right. that's, that's what they are. That's their tactic. But we're, 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 we're waiting on it. Right now we've got it pretty well in hand. Mr. Spears, though, always that faster. Always that faster. Kid Butts and the Tonky Kid, and uh, right at this particular moment, it looks like Arn Anderson uh, does not know even uh, who he is. That's a little teamwork by the Rat Patrol right there. That's, That's what it's all about. You know, so we have right. got the heart. We take a beating, but we can take a beating and keep going. You see? That's right. Kid. We're not going to give up. We got heart and we got pride and we don't give up. That's the thing about the Rat Patrol. We got together. We formed the Rat Patrol. We said we were going to get the belts. We got the belt. And we're keeping the belt. We're trying to defend them, and that's where our main goal is, to defend these belts and keep them. That's exactly right. right. You know, they had us flustered there for a while, but then we formed the rat. So I believe now the shoe's on the other foot. 
These gentlemen always have their panties in the wad. They're always screaming and griping. They're even now, they talk about the pretty ladies. They run down the pretty ladies that with the rabbit soul talks to at the arenas. I don't understand it. They must be flustered. Well, my mom, what we have uh, gathered some people about it. Okay. All right, as the Southeastern Drag Team Champion, we'll be back with more action in just a moment. You're invited to the grand opening of Limbard Lane Townhomes, the very best in family living. Model now open, located one mile down Tyler Road at Limbard Lane. In the house by the cemetery, what you don't know, you will have you. They have been awaiting the arrival of his new guest. One by one, they are disappearing before you get locked into this house. I need to find faith in the mortgage. You are right! House by the cemetery! Now playing in a theater or drive-in near you. Live and in person, Mr. Excitement. T. Buff makes his first public appearance in the state of Alabama at Mr. T. Furniture downtown this Saturday from 10 till 4 and Sunday from 1 till 5. We'll have bowing contests, T. Buff look-alike contests, and posters for the kids. And if you're even considering furniture or TVs, bring just $10 down, because everything's on sale. When T. Buff says let them go, they let them go. That's T. Buff in person this Saturday and Sunday at Mr. King Furniture. Thank you! Mother may be his most famous work of art, but by no means his only. Monday on the morning show, we'll tour the collection owned by the Birmingham Museum of Art. And we'll see what it takes to get the go-ahead to build a horse track. Monday on the morning show at 9 o'clock, following Donahue. Don't miss the excitement this Monday night at 8.30 when Southeastern Championship Wrestling comes to Birmingham's beautiful Alabama Fairgrounds Arena. A one-night down Robin tournament. The winner receives a $20,000 Chevrolet van. First round pairing, Tim Warner and Rick Gibson. Rick McGraw, Tommy Gilbert, the Rat Patrol meets Forrest Hitchcock. The Rat Patrol and Arn Anderson. Terry Suggs and the Rat Patrol. Jimmy Dolan versus Dick Lane. Loser, Lee Town, Jack Rousseau and Hustler with Rogers. Brad Armstrong meets the Tennessee Suggs, Ron Fuller. Bob Armstrong takes on Ted Kibiasi. It all happens Monday night. A $20,000 van tournament. Alabama Fairgrounds Arena in Birmingham. A big night of wrestling at the Alabama Fairgrounds Arena. Beautifully air-conditioned. Yes, there is free parking at the Fairgrounds Arena Monday night for this big $20,000 van tournament. 18 of the world's greatest wrestlers. 17 matches in all, including stars like Rick McGraw, the Rat Patrol Incorporated, plus Roy Zirkoff, Arn Anderson, Jerry Stubbs, and many more Monday at Birmingham. You know, all you see is Arn Anderson, Rat Patrol, Zirkoff, Rat Patrol, Stubbs, Rat Patrol. Well, it makes no difference. Whose name's on the dotted line? Because I'm going to take care of mine. Yeah. There's one thing you boys better understand. We're about our cars like we're all our women. We don't like to drive the same one twice. But let me tell you something, boys. When you come on down to Birmingham, we're one for one on these uh, tournaments. And one of us, it don't matter which one, is going to get that van. And we're going to have a lot of fun here with the people in the place. What do you think, boys? Exactly. I'm going to take you to American Money in the van. The Strap Patrol, I don't like going in the ring against the I don't know it's going to wrestle. But it's really not going to matter because one of us is going to take your van and drive it back to Pensacola. Well, Southeastern Championship Wrestling has really gone all out to bring the greatest talent from all over the country to the Fairgrounds Arena. And because of the size of the event, we didn't feel that Boutwell Auditorium could hold the number of people expected to show up. Make a note now, Fairgrounds Arena, Monday night, 18 wrestlers, 17 matches, Rick. $20,000 van, can you imagine the quick draw to beat by Alabama champion coming down there winning that $20,000 van with all these good-looking guys here riding out of Birmingham with all those good-looking ladies. We're going to be out the chart in Birmingham. It's going to be the place to happen. Monday night, Boutwell Auditorium, Johnny. A big That's night right. You know, a person may have to wrestle four or five, four times maybe to win this uh, van. Well, we don't care. The Rabbit Patrol will be there. 
Chubbs and Anderson, Zerkoff, you're going to wrestle the Rat Patroller, who, who you're going to wrestle. You don't know whether it's myself, Brother Scott here, the Tonka no, Kid. Don't. It don't matter. We're going to be there. Quick Dog's going to be there, and one of us is going to end up with that van, and we're going to go riding around, and <laughs> like you said, yeah, and woo! Pretty ladies will get in that van and go riding right. around. Well, it yeah. all happens on well, Monday night, night, Monday night, in the fairgrounds. Ah. Don't forget it now. The fairgrounds, the big van, we're going to take all the pretty ladies for a ride when the Rat Patroller Quick Dog takes this van. In the yeah. big Monday big night, yeah. Birmingham Fairgrounds oh, Arena, Beltine is 8.30. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this match won for the 10 minute time limit. Introducing in the corner to my left the 235 pounds, Rome, Georgia, David Jones. His opponent at 263 pounds from Russia, a member of the family of Billy Spears, Boris Zerkov. David Jones taking on uh, another member of the Billy Spears family, and there, of course, we're referring to uh, the big Russian Boris Zerkov. And the uh, man has joined us at the desk here, who's certainly no stranger to Mr. Zerkov. And a lot of heavy action here in the southeastern wrestling area. We're talking about the Alabama State Heavyweight Champion, Quick Draw McGraw. Yes, I uh, appreciate you having me on here, Charlie. You know, I'm watching the number one contender for this Alabama Bell. And I'll tell you that first off, one heck of a man. Wrist lock now on David Jones uh, from the state of Georgia. And I tell you what. Zerkoff is, of course, the number one contender for your Alabama State Heavyweight Championship, and uh, you'll be defending uh, that title soon in the arena. I'll uh, be in time anyway. You know, I'll be glad to get in there with that big bad Russian. You know, uh, Jimmy Golden being the gentleman that he is, you know, we've uh, discussed the man and the way he handles himself. Uh, it very seldom follows the rules, as you can see. Uh, he's taking it to this guy. Uh, Young man from Georgia, David Jones. And I tell you what, you know, I'm not just defending this Alabama title. I'm fighting for it, you know. And I'm watching number one contender right here. And with the help of all my good buddies and Rap Patrol watching my back, you know. And uh, the, the advice I'm getting from uh, Bob Armstrong and uh, Jimmy Golden, uh, you know, I think I'm going to have to weather the storm. Uh, that'd be the toughest match I've ever had in my life. So, anytime, any place, you know, the Alabama belt. Zarkov wants it, he wants it bad. You know, Rick, I'm sure that you found that uh, having to, knowing, having to defend the belt is one tough thing in itself, but uh, having uh, to watch Mr. Spears out of the corner of your eye at all times, that, that's, that's also distracting to me. That's right. Uh, ben Franklin out there is what it looks like to me. Uh, you know, uh, He's always, he's always got something up his sleeve and he's got plenty of buzz to back it up with, you know, and that money talks and you know it won't. And, uh, but he's got himself a fine, fine product up there in the ring. You know, that, that jerk off is one tough son of a gun. I tell you, the way the people of Alabama and Florida and the southeastern area have been behind me, you know, there's nothing going to slow me down, you know. Because I sure would like to bust that big old Russian head in, but I like a whole lot of blood out of that big old, big old head in here. Oh, being hurled into those ropes. Throat coming down right on that second rope. Using the hair, using the hair. You know, not legitimate by any means. It's just tough. Devastating clothesline. Takes his man up by the hair and goes for that cobra. If you ever had that put on, you know, that's very painful. I've got to deal with that. But with all the people up behind me like they have been, that Alabama title hopefully is going to stay around my way. He's out. Jones is out, and the winner of the match is the big man uh, from Russia, Boris Zerkov. Thank you, Rick, for coming out for the commentary, and best of luck on uh, holding on to that Alabama State Heavyweight Championship. Well, I sure appreciate it. Charlie, you know, I'll tell you, USA Jack, red, white, and blue, and Alabama party. Say that All right, Rick McGraw, the Alabama State Heavyweight Champion, right now, watch this very important word. Since his return to the southeastern area a couple of weeks ago, Billy Spears and his family who surround us now at the desk have certainly made a big impression, not only on the fans, but on their fellow wrestlers as well. 
That's why we're here. We're here to make money. These men like money. That's what they're in the wrestling profession for. And that's what I'm going to make sure that they get is plenty of money, plenty of bonuses. Wherever we're at, they're going to be at their top peak, and I'm going to pay them the money to get them there. And they're going to stay there. They've got, you've got an Alabama championship match coming up, boys. And Tommy over here has got his, his belt here. And we're going to have them all. We're going to have the tag belts before too long. I've already won a blazer for the guys. One guy who won a... Did you get that blazer, brother? Huh? Yeah, we like it. Yeah, we we call like it that beach buggy, though. Yeah. We call it a beach buggy. Already calling it a beach buggy. We're that, that van, that van, van is all you can ride yeah. in. You can sit up there and drive. We'll lay back there and get flat. I like it, man. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make one point clear right here and now. Yes, Cabbage Fest kids, we're going to get to one point. What you did was a phenomenon. You took three little idiots and all that up to one nothing, and you pull the fluke. It's just like a sunspot, it's like an eclipse. It happens once in a while. You got those belts and you stole them for one short, brief period. But let me tell you something, boys, because I know it takes a lot more to hold them than it does to steal them for one bright night. So get all yourself together and get your music playing and hope those goofy outfits help you because you're getting in there with two severely hot individuals it has got something real bad nagging at them, and that's the fact that we don't have part of our jewelry. It's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time before the jewelry is right back where it belongs. Well, I'll say this for Mr. Spears. He has enabled Tommy Gilbert to regain the United States Junior Heavyweight Championship match. With title matches coming up for Boris Zerkoff and Arn Anderson and Jerry Stubbs, the future of the family is open to question. Still to come this hour on South... Look out, Birmingham. Jimmy Golden in action. The Rat Patrol Incorporated, plus we'll have some very special comments from Bob Armstrong, all coming up in just a couple of minutes. Right now, I'd like to take an opportunity to talk to a gentleman who's created more than his share of problems here in the southeastern area over the last couple of months. We've been here his comments already. We're talking about Hustler Rip Rogers, along with his valet, Miss Brenda Britton, has stirred up a storm of uh, trouble, shall we say particularly between Mr. Rogers and Jacques Rougeau. Uh, the matches between these two men have seen, uh, shall we say, outside interference on the behalf of both men. Some very unusual situations. Excuses, excuses from Rougeau. Let's, let's get down to the facts here. The facts here, whenever Rougeau puts his nose into my business, he gets it bit off, and I'm the champion around this place. Hustler Rip Rogers, without a doubt, is one of the foremost athletes in the United States. We'll be taking a look at a piece of videotape in just a couple of minutes. Uh, in the arena is a special 10-round boxing match, and we urge you to pay a little special attention to what's going on in the screen right now. you can right see now, right now, I'm mopping the ring with Jock Rougeau. Excuse me? First, there was Muhammad Ali, there was George Foreman, there was Joe Frazier, there was Larry Holmes, but the greatest boxer of them all is Hustler Rip Rogers. As you can see right now, I'm reaching into that bucket and getting a glass of water so I can have a drink because this is the fifth round and I'm a bit fatigued. You're reaching into the bucket with boxing gloves on? I see, you can see. And if you watch right now, you're going to see the greatest right hand since Rocky Marciano knocked out Jersey Joe Walcott for that heavyweight championship back in the 50s. Well, we will certainly see a right hand. Uh, we might want to pay special attention to the fact of that bucket. And there's been a lot of controversy about this match and another match has been oh. look, look at Jock Rougeau look at Jock Rougeau and now look at him Jock Rougeau hits the lady knocks out my valet but I hit Jock Rougeau with it, that big right hand and I sent him to the promised land big rip that's what happens now signed in the arenas uh, the feud between you and Mr. Rougeau is about to come to an end because you signed a match loser lead town with Jock Rougeau it's a loser lead town match I've asked for it because I'm a champion around the southeastern area. I told you people I would paint Jock Rougeau yellow. I did it. I told all you people that I would have boxing and I'm the champion. I did it, and he'll leave because I'm the champion around here. It's been signed for the arena. There's a lot more action to come this hour on southeastern wrestling. Personality profile is up next. 
Look out, Birmingham. Here comes Bigfoot. The legendary Bigfoot. America's original monster truck. Theater of the car crash rolls into Birmingham for his first appearance ever in the state of Alabama. Don't miss Bigfoot. Along with Mother, Judge, and Steve. They make wheels standing at All of the Coors Championship tractor and truck bowl, 29 to 30 at 8 p.m. It's all happening at the Birmingham International Raceway, Alabama State Fairgrounds. All seats in admission tickets available at the gate. If you ain't seen unrestricted outdoor pulling, you ain't seen nothing yet. If you've been thinking about buying a new car but thought you couldn't pull it off, ease on in to Eastwood Ford. At Eastwood, we'll guarantee you a $1,500 trade-in on Tempo, $1,800 on LGBs or wagons, and $2,000 on Thunderbirds. Nobody will sell you a car for less or guarantee you a higher trade-in than Eastwood Ford. That's incredible. No, that's Eastwood Ford. And Eastwood Ford. Two miles east of Eastwood Mall on Highway 78. I've been working with my hands since I was a kid. I piled up lots of experience with hand cleaners, from soap to turpentine. The one I use is lava, because lava has the power of pumice. You can feel it, powering away dirt, powering your hands clean. I'm Roger Gustin. I built the lava machine. Mister, when I talk power, I know what I'm talking about. Lava powers hands clean. How do you say no when you don't want another drink? I put my hand over my glass. I dump it out. I order soda. Water. Coffee. It's a signal between us. I say I'd rather dance. I'm driving. I've got an early day. You don't need an excuse. I'll let you sit there. Thanks anyway. I just say I've had enough. How do you say no? Monday night at the Alabama Fairgrounds Sportsman Arena. This beautiful $20,000 fully customized van will be the winner to the last man who survives an 18-man single elimination round-robin tournament. Some of the greatest stars in the United States will be there, including the Continental Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, Ron Clark. That's exactly right. And finally, a little bit of magic is coming to Birmingham. This beautiful van, and I got to admit, this is a beautiful van. It's perfect for me. It's perfect for a lot of wrestlers in this tournament. DiBiase really likes the van. He knows about it. He'll be there. There'll be a lot of wrestlers in Birmingham on Monday night, and somebody's going to ride out in this beautiful van, and you're probably looking at the man right here. If not, then you're probably looking at the family's van. Well, there's certainly an excellent opportunity for Mr. Spears. Right, 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 Hey, he sits straight up in there. I love this van. I really do. This van is a guy in Birmingham. You're going to see this van driven away by one of the family here. I think I might take the third one. Yeah, we can buy about twelve of these if we wanted to, but it's Let's better when it's one. given away. Let's just win one. Right, right. Run your blazer. <laughs> yeah, about all I can tell you is we're one for one in these tournaments, so just plan on one of us getting this van. Well, there'll be 18 wrestlers on the card, over 17 matches in all, and of course, the last man to survive the night will drive away in this beautiful, customized $20,000 Chevrolet van. It all happens at the air-conditioned Alabama Fairgrounds Sports yeah, yeah, yeah. Arena. Rumor has it, DiBiase's part of the family. <laughs> it all happens Monday night in Birmingham. The Alabama Fairgrounds Sports Arena, of course, is the scene for this giant tournament, and I think, Bob, let's talk just for a second about Mr. Stubb's last comment. Indeed. Ted DiBiase has drawn Bob Armstrong in the first round pairing. Tonight. I wouldn't have had it any other way. And let me say right now, if I'm lucky enough to win that band, or if Brad Armstrong's lucky enough to win it, or any of the Rat Patrol, Jimmy, I want all of us to go in together for whoever wins and have that thing fumigated, be flea eyes, or whatever you call it. I want somebody to come up and clean that band up because I don't like the trash that's been sitting in. One thing about it, DiBiase, it's me and you in the first round. It may not go anywhere. Somebody's going down, but that's $20,000, and it's at the fairgrounds. They have a lot of good fights at fairgrounds, but this will be the biggest fight of all, the first summer spectacular for the Magic City in Birmingham, and that's Monday night. 
This is true. International Sports Incorporated has gone to a lot of trouble to secure the Alabama State Fairgrounds because of the tremendous crowd that's expected to be on hand for this event. We'll be talking to the Southeastern Heavyweight Wrestling Champion Jimmy Golden about his first round match in just a couple of minutes. But right now, let's get the previously recorded comments of two of the superstars in pro wrestling, Brad Armstrong and Tim Horner. Good news, that big tournament at the fairgrounds in Birmingham, Alabama, on Monday, June 25th, 8 o'clock. Great, great wrestlers from all over the country will be competing. What's the big prize, Tim Horner? Uh, it's a big customized van uh, valued uh, $20,000, $25,000. Wow, and you're going to enter it? I know you're going to do great. That's right. You know, it's going to be a pleasure coming back to Birmingham, Alabama. The people have been so good to me, and uh, they've been good to Brad, too. And uh, we're just looking forward to coming out. You know, we were looking on the lots at Vans the other day, and they're, they're real nice. And I know Brad's looking forward to coming back to Beeham, too. Brad Armstrong's the youngest man to ever hold a national heavyweight championship. Good luck in the tournament in Birmingham, Brad. Always my pleasure to be in Beeham, Alabama, and I can't think of nothing better than to have a brand-new customized van wrapped around Horner or myself. You know, we were talking just a couple of minutes ago to a gentleman in Alabama up in Birmingham, and a lot of fans are talking about the Fairgrounds Sports Arena, the beautiful air-conditioned complex. And yes, there is free parking at the Alabama Fairgrounds Arena. And, of course, uh, when the starting time starts at 8.30 and the first bell sounds, 18 wrestlers, 17 matches, but, Jimmy, there's only one man that can drive away with the keys to that van. Well, that's, that's very well right uh, there, Rick. And Bob said it a while ago, it's going to be a heck of a fight because it's a beautiful van, and I sure would like to be driving it home. And... Uh, but first of all, i got to step in the ring with Vic Rain. If I beat him, then no telling how many more matches will go before you'll be able to drive away in that beautiful van. you got to be in good shape and good condition. One thing for sure, I'm stepping in the ring with Vic Rain. He's the first thing. First things come first. And I'm going to take care of Vic Rain. We've got a problem that we need to settle, and we're going to settle it. And uh, just this little note here for you wrestling fans at home, because of the great support that Southeastern Wrestling has had over the last couple of months from fans in Birmingham, Alabama, there will be no increase in prices. That's right. Regular prices in effect. Monday night at 8.30, the Alabama Fairgrounds Arena, 18 wrestlers, 17 matches to the last man. A $20,000 fully customized Chevrolet van. of coming right here on Southeastern uh, Television Wrestling. Right now, we'd like to uh, ask a gentleman to come out and join us at the desk, uh, Mr. Vic Rain, if he would uh, come out. And uh, let's take a look at some things that uh, maybe we can, we can uh, clear up a few things on uh, last week's television program. Uh, a lot of people have been saying over the past couple of months, uh, especially in the arenas, and we saw it last week on television, that this booth and, uh, that you uh, wear in the ring has something inside right. of it. There's sir. nothing wrong with that booth. That's an NWA booth. It was sanctioned by the NWA. And let me tell you something, you people out there, if you can't handle this, too bad. Because I have no time to fool around. So let me tell you something, Yellow, and you know who I'm referring to when I say Yellow. You know very well. You're just like these freebies are all these peanut eaters. They're all looking for something free. Well, I'm going to give you something free. I'm going to stick these things so far down your throat, you're going to need a pair of snippers to pull them back out. But that's okay. Because I want to hear all you people out there see something very exciting. And here it is. If this is not the most exciting thing you ever saw, I don't know what is. Look at that. Now here's an athlete in action now. We're talking tradition here. Yeah. Now, so what are, you, what are you doing with your right foot? Wait, what are you doing with your right foot? Yeah, what a move. Now that is one of the most unbelievable moves I have done in a long time. Look at this. Watch this. Keep your eye on me. I am the man in motion. I'm the man on top. I am Mr. Punishment. I am doing it all. The other guy's observing it just like a sponge. Look at me out there, I look great. That, that may be, sir, but you didn't answer the question. What, what were you doing with your right question? foot on the floor? What was I doing with it? Yeah. I wasn't doing anything with it. It's Charlie Platt and you and that guy up there, the director with his little trick photography stuff, trick and I'm fed up with it. Conspiracies everywhere I go, but it don't matter. Because when this does this, it's goodbye, and that's what it is right now. It's goodbye to this boy. Watch me put in one of his misery. Now, is that a merciful thing to do? I seen him, he was in pain. 
So I just put him right out of his misery and left him laying there like an athlete that he is. <laughs> Look at him laying there. He looks like candy fox. Okay. Are you kidding? You want to check this boot before I leave? As a matter of fact, I yeah, do. Go ahead. Let's uh, take a look at this. I'm still going to ask the rest of them. All right. Hey. All right. Testing thing. Is this is this what the hell is? Never mind. Never mind. This is the two right here. This is the two right here. No. Okay. I don't want to hear anymore. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. We have another match. Don't put any other foot. This is what it is. This is what it's going to be. And this is where it's all going to be. So if anybody don't want it, take the 15 bucks, jump on the bus, and get out of town. All right, an irate uh, big rain right now. Let's go to the rain for the introduction of our next match. Ladies and gentlemen, this television event, one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Your ring official is Larry Brock. We're waiting on our competitors now to enter the squared circle. Coming into the ring at 235 pounds, Montgomery, Alabama, the Southeastern heavyweight wrestling champion, Jimmy Golden. His opponent at 228 pounds, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Vic Diamond. All right, Jimmy Golden in the ring now. Competition against Vic Diamond, side headlock by Golden. And what an athlete we have here. Top contender for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. You uh, might know that I wouldn't pass up an opportunity to come out here and watch the man they say is the uncrowned champion at work. You know, Golden, I'm not going to take anything away from the guy. I'm going to be a liar if I sat here and told you he wasn't a great athlete. But he's not Ric Flair. He's not the world champion. And I expect this young man in the ring with him to give Jimmy Golden all he wants. You see, there he is, ignoring the rules, grabbing the guy by the hair. This is a wrestling match. Our sport is based on science, not brutality. Let's see him grab a wrestling hold. I believe you're about to see that now, Mr. Flair. Well, there's that double chicken wing suplex. It's a very dangerous maneuver. He's golden feeling this guy a lot of punch, but he thinks he's showing off for me. Hey, no doubt about it, Golden's a great one. But I'll say it again, I've said it a hundred times. He's not Ric Flair. And he's a long way from being Ric Flair. Well, let's say this. I've had the opportunity over the past year and a half to see Mr. Flair defend his title. Now, all the way from Des Moines, Iowa, to St. Louis, and down to the great state of Texas. And out of everyone that I've seen you wrestle, sir, I believe that Jimmy Golden may have come closer than any man without actually doing it to be the World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. So let's put it like this. A lot of guys have come close. Oh, there's that sleeper hole again. The illegal choke hold in here. Golden has come as close as a lot of guys have. But close only counts in horseshoes. And you see who's wearing the gold belt. Rick Flair, the world heavyweight champion. You know, I'm getting a little sick and tired of looking at this right here. Can you imagine the NWA allowing him to use this illegal choke hold? Sooner or later, somebody's going to have to keep in the lesson. Well, of course, there are uh, administrative cautions on the hold, but it is sanctioned. Well, the, uh, verbal Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, Rick Flair just left the interview desk, and uh, Bill Hart Jimmy Golden. Look at Hart Jimmy Golden. Hart Jimmy Golden. Hart Jimmy Golden. Hart Jimmy Golden. Hart Golden. Hart Jimmy 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 Golden. Hart Golden. Hart Golden. Golden. $10,000 appearance bond right here. Yes, indeed. But Mr. Rick Flair, just to make sure that you go show up, I'll keep this with me, sonny boy. Uh, 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 we'll be back with more Southeastern Wrestling in just a moment. Thank <laughs> you. 
Silver Creek, moist wintergreen tobacco. It's cut a little rougher. This 4th of July, we're having a blast. WZZK, Coca-Cola, and BRC6 invite you to look to the skies above Red Mountain Wednesday night, July 4th at 9 p.m. for a fireworks Fantasia. Be sure to listen to a special 4th of July music track on WZZK FM 105 while you're watching the fireworks. A fireworks Fantasia, July 4th at 9 p.m. Brought to you by WZZK, Coke, and BRC6. On the debut edition of Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, Dynasty John Forsythe reveals his true passion. Stalk through the spectacular safari home of Dick Reed and Roy with their jungle friends. Linda Carter opens up her heart and her wedding album. A rebel publisher takes us on a tour of his extraordinary townhouse. There'll also be surprises with some very special superstars. All on Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Thursday at 8. the Alabama Fairgrounds Arena early Monday night at 8.30. A capacity crowd expected to be on hand for this $20,000 van tournament. Top stars from all over the United States like Ted DiBiase, Brad Armstrong, Tim Horner, and many, many more, including Alabama State Champ Rick McGraw, who's drawn in the first round Tommy Gilbert, and the Southeastern Heavyweight Wrestling Champion Jimmy Golden, whose first round opponent is Vic Rain. You know, Vic, I can't believe this, Lily. Quick draw is thinking that he's going to go out there and be able to. Can you imagine wrestling <laughs> four times? He'd be lucky. McGraw, you're going to be lucky to get through the first one because, you know, you're so much like a beach ball, man. Anyway, you ain't going to be able to make it through the first one because you're going to blow so sky high that if you were to win, you wouldn't be able to make it to the next match. Ah, Jimmy Yellow, we're talking condition here, brother. We're talking possible four matches. We're talking 17 matches in all. But one thing we are talking is me, rain, pain, van, goodbye! Monday night, the Alabama Fairgrounds Arena is a big chance for Alabama champion Rick McGraw. Let me tell you something. Gilbert, I got you in the first round. You're lean and you're mean. You're experienced. You're big and you're bad. I'll tell you something. $20,000 is a lot of money, and you're not going to stand in my way when it comes to winning that van. First round pairings at the fairgrounds Monday night. Uh, a little bit of a situation has been going on in the past between you and Vic Rain. Yeah. Well, that's exactly right. You know, we've got to take first things first. You know, if I beat Vic Rain, there may be three more matches. or no telling how many more that you've got to beat to drive off in that beautiful van. But one thing is for sure, Vic Rain, is that I'm going to get to step in the ring with you, Sonny Boy, on the first round. And first things come first, because I'm going to take care of you, Mr. Vic Rain. I'm going to find out just how bad you are, Sonny Boy, in Birmingham. And then I'm going to be well on my way to driving that pretty van on home. Right. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is today's television main event. Introducing now entering the ring at a combined total of 500 pounds, Rip Raven and Hustler Rip Rogers. <laughs> at a combined total of 660 pounds, the Southeastern Tag Team Champions, the Rat Patrol Incorporated. The Rat Patrol Incorporated, Southeastern Tag Team Champions. And action against Rick Rabin and uh, the hustler Rip Rogers. 
Raven will be starting off for his team. Shot an elbow with Scott Armstrong over on those ring ropes. And we have a clean break on the part of Raven. Scott Armstrong now and again has a switch play. The tag is made to Husker Rip Rogers. And uh, come to join us at the desk for two or three I got just a few comments. I can't believe what I saw out here just a minute ago. Jimmy Golden has got to be the thief of all time. He's trying to humiliate the world's heavyweight champion right here on the television program to steal a $10,000 appearance spot. What type of man is Jimmy Golden? He's the same type of man as Bob Armstrong, Brad Armstrong, Rick McGraw. I could go on down the list. Bob has been his group of guys up here. It's disgusting and humiliating. I don't blame the world champion for leaving this area and being proud to leave this area. I'd be gone if it happened to me. Uh, very bitter sounding comments of the Tennessee stud Ron Fuller uh, concerning the world's heavyweight champion. A very upset nature boy Rick Flair today on Southeastern Wrestling. Talking kid dives in deep fireman Terry drops the leg on the arm of Rick Raven. Here you're seeing a lot of the teamwork of the Rat Patrol Incorporated. Three young guys who've really put it together in the last couple of months. They may not be as big as, oh, the drop kick from Scott Armstrong sends Raven down the tag to Hustler Rip Rogers. Those guys might not be as big as some of the athletes in the ring, but they're young, they've got a lot of intentional fortitude, and they've got a lot of spirit, a lot of pride in their ability as athletes, and a lot of pride in their organization being the Southeastern Tag Team Champion. Rogers. Double reverse, Armstrong, oh, ooh, Armstrong caught with a clothesline coming out of that corner. And it's Rogers right back in on Armstrong, taking his man up, full body slam, tag is made with Raven. Raven, oh, crashing down, putting that weight into that punch. Comes up with a chin lock, and a headbutt right into the uh, side of the neck. Raven, obviously an experienced veteran, but you can hear the crowd here at the television arena picking up the cry of Go Scott Go. Armstrong, a diving roll makes the tag to Tonka Kid. And here comes a ball of energy right here. Raven caught by the Tonka Kid. The Tonka Kid now making the tag with Scott Armstrong. Rick shouting in encouragement from the side. Good elbow by uh, Armstrong. Oh, Rogers. Rogers tried for the save. Caught his own partner. Tonka Kid is in. Cuts off Hustler Rip Rogers. Headbutt that sends him out of the ring. As Scott Armstrong stays with Rick Raven. Armstrong. Oh, there's that Savat kick to the chin that sends Rick Raven to the canvas. Tag the Tonka Kid. He's upon the top rope. Oh. Diving headbutt. It's over. The Southeastern Tag Team Champions Victoria. The Rep Patrol Incorporated, Johnny Rich, Chad Armstrong, and McConkey Kid. These guys have really made a sensation here in the Southeast Bay. You can see why they're the Tag Team Champions right there. Biggest situation going on here in the Southeast. Uh, the feud between Bob Armstrong and the Tennessee Reds continues to go. The Rep Patrol has business, they know how to win. We got some film here that I'd like to see and see exactly what happened in the match between me and the stud. And I think we're going to see how the stud operates with all his cohorts. And now he's even involved Mr. Billy Spear. You can see right here we're pounding each other pretty good. We've been going a little while there. And uh, just in a minute you're going to see an uh, accent where he goes out of the ring and I'm staying in the ring. You watch here in just a second now. Right here it comes. That's right. I hit him. But not me, Goofy. Not him, Goofy. He rolls out of the ring, and you'll watch his buddies out there. They try to pick him up and dust him off. But my guys, the Rat Patrol, Jimmy Golden, and my boys, they don't like it, so they go around there. Now watch Billy Spears now. Watch him. As I come up out of nowhere, he hit me with something that crossed my running line. The feds even got Billy Spears involved now. They were all trying to put me down for the count. And would have done it but if it hadn't been for the Jimmy Golden thinking and the Tonka Kid saw what Billy Spears did, and it got wild and woolly. And right here in just a minute, you're going to see an awful fight. A fight like me and the stud like to get into and like one that I like to finish. Before it's over with, there may be several people hurt. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to take me out of it completely. They're trying to bend the wires in the face. They got it all in mind. But I'm still standing because I know how to take a lick and keep on ticking. And I'm going to tell that stud one thing. There's something I got to tell him right there. And here's another one. And I'm going to tell him a whole lot more before it's through. 
and you can see he scatters and breaks for the barn. And I just want to say this, the stud needs a good trapping, and the bullet is the man to give it to him. That's it. Okay, uh, the comments of Bullet Bob Armstrong more on Southeastern Television Wrestling just a moment. This may be the best new car buy in the world. A new 1984 Long Lewis Ford Escort for only $59.90. Complete with reclining seats, overdrive transmission, fuel saver engine, style steel wheels, front wheel drive, rack and pinion steering, and front disc brakes. Full price, $59.90. Choose from a bunch of these babies. At Long Lewis Ford in Bessemer, where there's no fine print. In the long run, at Long Lewis Ford in Bessemer, you hear? Soul TV Rental Birmingham and Color World TV Rental Gadsden and Tuscaloosa have a spectacular offer for you. Rent any TV or appliance and get the first week free. Choose from famous name brand TVs, microwaves, washers, dryers, freezers, most anything for your home, and the first week is free. No credit check, immediate delivery. In Birmingham, call Bull TV Rental 785-2626. Call Color World TV Gadsden 547-5444 or Tuscaloosa 349-3350. First week is free. When I finish work, I can't wait to see what they're The next course, I for it right, turn it loose tonight. So hold back, hold back, turn it loose tonight. Hey, turn your ass to fear when you're moving around. Course like is the one that won't slow you down. Course like, don't slow down. This time of day, our show began to talk about this good biscuit what old Joe used to make. Bojangles, you could smell them for four or three miles. They just raised themselves up and sort of said, Hey, why don't you brought yourself by sometime, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That old boat. Where he is right now, huh? Now his name is up in life. Biscuits, chicken, and dirty rice. It's no cooking like cake. Bojangles. This segment this Monday night at 8.30 when Southeastern Championship Wrestling comes to Birmingham's beautiful Alabama Fairgrounds Arena. A one-night round-robin tournament. The winner receives a $20,000 Chevrolet band. First round pairing, Tim Horner and Rick Gibson, Rick McGraw, Tommy Gilbert, the Rat Patrol meets Forrest Urkoff, the Rat Patrol and Arn Anderson, Jerry Stubbs and the Rat Patrol, Jimmy Golden versus Dick Rain, Moozer, Lee Town, Jack Rougeau and Hustler with Rogers, Brad Armstrong meets the Tennessee Stud Ron Fuller, Bob Armstrong takes on Ted Gibiasi. It all happens Monday night, a $20,000 band tournament, the Alabama of Fairgrounds Arena in Birmingham. The special arrangements have been made by International Sports Incorporated for the Alabama Fairgrounds Arena because of the capacity crowd that's expected Monday night at Beltwell Auditorium. 18 wrestlers, 17 matches in all to the last man that survives. A $20,000 fully customized Chevrolet van, a beautiful piece of machinery. Well, someone will drive out of that in the Fairgrounds Arena Monday night. First round pairings, a continuing feud between Bob Armstrong and Ted DiBiase comes to a head. Plus, the loser of this match leaves Birmingham. The winner continues in the tournament as Jacques Rougeau meets Hustler Rip Rogers. It's celebration time in Birmingham, Alabama. Why? Not because there's a $20,000 van on the line. Not because there's 17 matches. Not because it's the biggest card signed in many, many years by Southeastern Wrestling. Not because the stars of WTBS Atlanta are coming in. The reason the celebration is because the human milk that Jacques Rougeau is going to leave. Hustle Rip Rogers, Rogers promised you people he would be painted yellow. He was. He promised you people he would be knocked out in his boxing match. He was. And now you people, I'm going to promise you one more time, and that promise is the loser will not be Hustle Rip Rogers. You can count on it. Good night in the Magic City. Ain't that right? A whole lot of matches. 18 men from all over the country. $20,000 van. Terrible Teddy DiBiase. I know you ain't looking to your first round, Bob Armstrong. And me, I got the little national champion, Brad Armstrong. Well, I'm going to stop Brad in the mat. Then I'm going to stop Bob in the mat. I hope I get shot because I'll take care of the whole Armstrong family one night. I'm going to be riding in style going away from Birmingham. I'm leaving in a $20,000 van. Monday night, the Alabama Fairgrounds Arena, it's, uh, it's all or nothing Monday night in Birmingham. Well, the only thing I could say is Brenda Britton bumpers have been painted once, and you've been knocked down, Rip Rogers, and oh, Brenda Britton's been knocked down, and you're standing by yourself, Rip Rogers, and when the death clears, I'm going to be standing by myself. Bob, I know that you're ready for this Ted DiBiase. Exactly, I'm night. ready. You know they say birds of a feather flock together. 
and that big six foot nine buzzard and that DB Oscar are a couple of buzzards if I ever saw him. He's talking about stomping Brad. Well, Brad's got something for you, brother. It ain't boarding house pie. As far as Ted DiBiase, everybody knows what I got to settle with him, and I'm tickled to death that the first round I can get him out of the way. Talk about loaded gloves. I'm going to load him up with jaw jacking like he ain't never seen. We're going to have a fight at that fairground. <laughs> What a day we've had here at Southeastern Television Wrestling. Uh, near problem for the World Heavyweight Champion on television. Uh, uh, there may be an investigation into that. Of course, uh, the $10,000 check bonded with the National Wrestling Alliance. It's in the possession of Jimmy Golden now. Although it's uh, extra legal, so I would say illegal for Golden to actually possess the check, I don't think anybody could really blame Jimmy after what he's been through as a champion. Not at all. We got to see the Southeastern Tag Team Champions, Arrest of Soul Incorporated, in action. They were victorious in their match, as were the number one contenders for those titles, Stubbs and Anderson. And, of course, Boris Zirkoff continues his winning way here in the Southeastern area. Several title matches on tap for Boris Zirkoff. And whether he can strap a championship belt around his waist in the near future, well, only time will tell. The rare appearance scheduled for Russell next week on this program is the Tennessee Stud Ron Fuller. Our time is John. Join us next week on Southeastern Television.